Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see uh, two more commands in SQL that is uh, update and uh, delete. Update and delete command. So coming to the first one that is an update command and it is used to modify the existing data, the existing data. So it is a slight difference with the alter command. So alter will be the DDL command and uh, this update is a DML command. So this one is a DML command. So DML command means here this command will be used to change the data of a table. If it is a DDL, it will change the structure of a table, right? So, the syntax for update is update table name set column 1 is equal to the new value comma column 2 is equal to a new value comma etc where the condition satisfies where the condition satisfies so first it will check for the condition so for all the resultant uh, rows the column value will be set okay whatever the value existing that will be replaced with the new value okay the given value so this is the syntax for update and this is the same will be used for updating either a single record or a multiple records okay so based upon the condition based upon the condition and based upon the resultant table so it may change the single row or a multiple rows so that is an update so i will demonstrate this query i will execute this query in the sql my sql okay so first let me complete the syntax the theoretical process and then we'll go to the practical so i'll execute the query in the my sql and i will show you then coming to the delete so delete is used to delete the rows, a specific rows of a table. So delete used to delete specific rows from a table. So some uh, based upon the condition here also we'll give some condition so based upon that condition the particular rows will be deleted either it may it can be a single row or a multiple row and similar to our update function uh, update command this is also a dml command dml command so this command is used to change the data that means delete the data and it is completely different from drop and truncate drop and truncate where drop and truncate are the ddl commands data definition language so drop command is used to remove the complete structure of the database and truncate is used to remove all the rows of a database but here the delete command is used to delete a specific rows based upon the condition so the syntax for delete the syntax for delete is delete from table name where condition so here we can write the condition so from this condition based upon this condition the resultant uh, rows will be get deleted or this is a one syntax and the second syntax is a delete from table name so this syntax will delete all the rows from the table similar to our truncate function okay so this one deletes specific rows or records and this function deletes all the records all the records or all the rows from the table 
right so this delete command is a dml command and update is also dml command update is to reassign the values okay change the value of a attribute and delete is to delete the required rows right so hope you understood this uh, syntax of update and delete commands in sql now let's move on to the mysql and i will execute the two statements okay two statements or two commands that is update and delete so that if you still have any uh, doubts those doubts will be get clarified so let's move on to the mysql hello friends so just now we have seen the syntax for two different commands in our sql that is update and delete which are uh, dml commands so so these are the syntaxes we have seen just now so let us execute these queries in mysql so let me open the mysql so give the password and uh, let us clear the screen first yes so we have created one database to execute the queries that is a youtube database let us move on to the youtube database and here we have created one table uh, that is a student so there are some sort of records in student table so let us check for that those records select start from student we'll get the complete details of a student details so there are some seven records seven records of a student now we'll update update a query or update a command is used to change the value of an attribute right so it can be anything but the primary key cannot be updated we can't update the primary key value right so only other than the primary key we can update any attribute for example if you just want to change the percentage of student sandeep what's the syntax so give that one update table name update sandeep set the column name percentage is equal to some 95 okay condition where yes name is equal to let us take sandeep execute sorry here we have given table also select right table student no so student set percentage is equal to 95 where yes name is equal to something so first this condition will be executed and it will get all the rows whose name is sandeep and those percentages will be get updated with the 95 so previously it was 99 so once you executed this one so you can see select star from students now it was 95 so that means we can modify the attribute value by using the update not only the single value so here it is a single single value now i just want to update uh, multiple values okay in order to update the multiple values how we can so for example for that uh, let me uh, add one more column here so alter in order to add one more column alter table student add i'll give a grade with a var care of some 40 execute one row is affected right so select a star from student you can observe here so we had a grade column initially every value of this grade is null now i need to update this one so how can we update we have to give a grade such that the 40 is a pass and in between 40 to 60 okay in between 40 to 60 it's pass and 60 to 70 it's a first class and above 70 first class with distinction right so we need to update this one so for that we can see update student student set grade is equal to pass give the condition here where percentage is greater than 35 and percentage less than 60 okay percentage less than 60 simply update here you can get the details see the student who got the percentage in between 35 and 60 so we'll get a pass right now again change the data see now change the grade to first class i'll give the first class first class where percentage is greater than 60 and percentage less than 
78. So two rows matched. You can observe here. What are those two, two rows? So 68% which is a first class, 65% which is a first class. Now again you can update the thing. So above 70, those are nothing but distinctions. Distinctions. Distinction, right? Where above we can simply use a 70. Exigent. Okay, and here you need C 95% destination. Uh, I mean, sorry, the 95% the grade is distinction, and 84% which is grade is distinction, 68 first class, 77 distinction. So we can update as either single row or a multiple rows. So based upon the result from the condition, so the number of rows will be get affected with the given value. So that is the update function. That's simply update function. Similarly, delete function, delete function. So here, delete function, the syntax, let us see the syntax. So there are two functions, okay, two queries. So delete from table name where condition and delete from table. So we can delete a single row or a multiple row or all the rows. So in order to delete a single row or a multiple row, we can use this delete option, delete from table name where condition. So you can write here, delete from student where where grade is equal to pass so one row is affected you can see whatever the student 105 the student details of 105 who got a grade pass will be get deleted here see 105 has been deleted because we have we are deleting the student details whose grade is equal to pass now let us check here so I'll delete uh, the first class. I will delete the student details whose grade is a first class. Now you can observe two rows affected and see only the distinction will be remained here because in our table we are having the first class, two first class and one pass in among the seven rows. So we have deleted pass and uh, first class. So three rows has been deleted. So totally four rows has remaining. Whose grade will be the only the distinction, only the distinction so this is how we can delete either single row or a multiple rows either single row or multiple rows and if you want to delete the, all the all the rows simply you can use a command delete from student which will delete all the rows you can see we'll get empty set we'll get an empty set right so this is the option these are the DML commands, two commands, update and delete. So which will use it to update the value or delete the records. Update the value or delete the records. Update can be done for single row or multiple rows and delete can be done for a single row or a multiple rows or all the, all the rows, right? So hope you understood these two commands, DML commands. So let's stop here. And if you are having any doubts regarding these two queries, so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.